Are you ready? It's sing-along time. Oh, in the day, in the day. or in the, in the night, when things go wrong, when things go right, the God of everything wants to hear how you're doing. We can talk to him about our life. Oh, we can pray. Oh, every day. Oh, we can pray. Pray every day. In the day or in the night, when things go wrong, when things go right. We can pray. Everything wants to know how you're doing. We can talk to him. How about that? Oh, we can pray. Oh, every day. Oh, we can pray. Pray every day. When you feel joy, when you feel sad, when things are good, when things go bad, we can pray. Pray. talk to you god he wants to walk with you he does yes he does jesus wants to talk to you jesus wants to walk with you are you listening are you listening oh we can pray oh every day oh we can pray We can pray every day. Oh, we can pray every day. Oh, we can pray every day. Oh, in the day or in the night, when things go wrong, My name is Duan. Don't you like that song? Today, we're still talking about the word pray. And that reminds me of our big idea. We can pray every day. Do you know when we really need to pray? When we're scared. What are you scared of? I'm scared of walking in the dark because I might for something. Are you afraid of that too? What types of things are you afraid of? Maybe spiders? Or maybe butterflies? Or flowers? Maybe broccoli? Well, even when we're scared, we can speak to Jesus and he can help us. In today's story, we're gonna hear about Jesus and his disciples, and his disciples were really scared because they were in a storm, and Jesus helps them out. Let's go to story time. Story time! Hello friends, it's good to be with you again. I get to read a story with you again today, I'm so excited. I hope you're ready for a story too. This story is called, Jesus Prays and Walks on Water. Let's see what happens. 
right after Jesus had fed the 5,000 people, he told his disciples to get into the boat and go to the other side of the big lake. He said goodbye to all the people and sent them all home. Then he went up into the hills to pray all by himself. He was there into the night all alone. At the same time, the disciples were in trouble. They were in the boat far from land and a strong blowing wind had pushed them about. They were fighting against heavy waves, sploosh, splash. It was three o'clock in the morning when they were being tossed by the wind and waves, afraid and uncertain. Then Jesus came walking towards them on the water. When the disciples saw him, they were even more afraid because they thought it was a ghost. But Jesus spoke to them and said, don't be afraid, take courage, I am here. Phew, what a relief. They didn't need to be afraid. Jesus was there. Then Jesus' friend Peter shouted to him, Jesus, if it's really you, tell me to come walk on the water to you. Jesus said, yes, come. So Peter jumped over the side of the boat and walked on the water toward Jesus. He wasn't afraid. But then he saw the strong wind and waves and was distracted by them. He was terrified and began to sink. Save me, Jesus, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him and asked, why did you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. Then the disciples worshiped Jesus. You really are the son of God, they exclaimed. Wow, isn't that an exciting story? I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you really enjoy your next activity. Bye for now. Activity time. Hi, Hi friends. friends. That was such a cool story about the disciples and how the storm just stopped. Yes, we were thinking of playing a game where we could pretend to be in a boat and be like the disciples when a storm came. Do you want to play with us, friends? Evan and I each have our own pretend boat made out of cardboard. If you guys want, you can ask someone for help to make it yourself. If not, you can just sit on the floor and that can be your pretend boat. We also have our own paddles. Okay, the wind would start off and is rocking our boat. And then it would make the waves crash and they'd be bigger. Oh no, is your boat rocking too? And then the waves start crashing and splashing. Oh, I just got water in my face. Are you guys soaked too? Oh no, and then the rain would come. Let's make the noise of rain by patting our legs and we'll start slow and we'll go faster. Are you ready? Oh no, now there's thunder. On the count of three, let's all shout, boom. Ready? One, two, three, boom. boom. Oh no, the storm's getting worse and the boat's shaking more. Oh wait, we can ask Jesus for help. Lauren, can you pray for us? Yeah, for sure. Dear Jesus, please help us not be afraid. Hey look, the waves are getting gentler and so is the wind. All oh, the clouds are moving away. Finally, we can take a deep breath. Whew. Thank you, Jesus, for helping us. And thank you guys for playing with us. Now it's key verse time. Key verse. Hi friends, it's Mandy here. It's great to see you again. Did you have fun with your activity? Well, I hope you're ready for some more fun because it's key verse time. Today's key verse is never stop praying. First Thessalonians 5:17. Now, I know that might sound a little bit hard, but really all it means is that we can pray no matter where we are or what we're doing. So we can pray while we're out riding our bikes <laughs> or when we're spending time with friends and family or even when you're by yourself getting all snuggled in for bedtime. Anywhere, anytime, our whole lives can be filled with prayer. Now, let's find a comfy place to sit down. All right. Okay, now we're gonna add a beat to the verse. What we're gonna do is clap twice and then tap our knees. Can you try it with me? Here we go. Clap, clap, pat. Clap, clap, pat. 
clap, clap, pat. Awesome. Now we're gonna add the words. Do you remember what the key verse is? Let's say it together. Never stop praying. Never stop praying. Never stop praying. Awesome. Then we'll put our hands together like a book and say 1 Thessalonians 5.17. Now, can we do that whole thing all together? Let's give it a try. Here we go. Never stop praying. Never stop praying. Never stop praying. 1 Thessalonians 5.17. That was so fun. Can we do it one last time, but super, super fast? Okay, let's try it. Ready, go. Never stop praying, never stop praying, never stop praying. First Thessalonians 517. Woohoo! Great job, everyone. Now let's head over to Duan for prayer time. Prayer time. It's almost time to say goodbye. But before we do, may I pray with you? How about today we sit on our knees and we put our hands out like we're giving God a great big hug. Are you ready? Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all my friends and thank you for loving us. And I pray that you would fill each and every one of my friends with your great big awesome love. Thank you, Lord, that we can speak to you anywhere and anytime. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye. Oh, we can pray every day To God up above, of God full of love We can pray, pray.